Australia's Northern Territory is home to at least 280 bird species, some of which are found nowhere else in the world. From hooded parrots and honey eaters to black currawongs and brolgas, the top end is brimming with bird life. We're at um, Mamakala Wetlands in Kakadu National Park. Uh, this is a favourite area for these so-called twitchers. Yeah. They come from all over the world to see some of the, uh, the great varied uh, bird life that you can see in the top end. As you can see up there, there's thousands and thousands of magpie geese and all manner of other types of waterfowl. Visitors can join one of the many dedicated bird watching tours on offer in the top end, from day tours to longer adventures, either with a guide or on your own. You can trek through the stunning Northern Territory landscape to spot a rare gibber bird or hop on board a cruise and float your way through expansive wetlands teeming with bird life. We're at the Yellow Water Billabong, uh, which is the last billabong in the chain of billabongs that make up the Jim Jim Creek. Uh, this is a, a wetlands area, so at different times of year we'll have different birds that visit here uh, and every day is different, we never know what we're going to see. What's that white bird over there? Oh, that's a uh, greater egret one of four egrets that we get here. Got a big old wingspan, isn't it? Yeah, and uh, quite often they'll fight over little spots of grasslands where they feed on, pick on fish and, and small little insects and grubs that make up the wetland edges. And uh, you'll see as, as we're going, moving along, there's usually one every sort of so, so many metres. Oh, yes. And uh, they'll sort of take turns in uh, feeding in certain areas and then moving on. Uh, we've got two types of whistling ducks here. One's called a plume whistling duck, and we'll see him in a minute. And the others are wandering whistling ducks, which are these guys. And these guys are probably the only ones of the two whistling duck family that actually spend any time in the water. These are the plume whistling ducks. You see the little plumes out on the sides of their wings there? Yeah, they look a bit bigger as well. Yeah, and a little bit lighter in colour. Oh, yeah, you really can see it quite clearly, can't you? That nice little pattern on the side of it. Yeah, and then we've got the burdekin ducks, the two fellows behind them. This is a little comb-crested jacana, one of my little favourites. Runs around on the lilies, often referred to as the Jesus bird. Looks like he's walking on water. And uh, this is a male. The female's got a really bright red comb up on top of her head. The female's quite a bit of a character. She'll invite the male to sit on the nest, and as soon as he does, that's it. She's gone. <laughs> Get plenty of ladies on the boat. They reckon that's a great idea. There he goes. Now he's on the move now. You can see his big feet now as he displaces Huge. over the lilies, his weight. Lots of different times of the year we'll have different varieties of birds coming in from different parts of the world. Some of them that we'll see today, like the Jacana here, he's, uh, he spends all year here and uh, quite happy in amongst the wetlands even though when they're quite flooded. Uh, there's usually areas where he can walk around. And with the southern half of the Northern Territory, known as the Red Centre, offering completely different habitats and species, the Northern Territory really is a bird watcher's paradise.